Guys, I know I've made a lot of videos today, man, but you know, there's a lot going on. I mean, I'm trying to teach you how to survive in the woods. I'm trying to tell you what's going on and who's behind all this. I know I've made a lot of videos. It's the most videos I've ever made in my life in one day, man. Uh, but I want to cover this whole issue that we're looking at right here. Uh, this is the whole thing that went down this afternoon uh, at the White House, okay? And uh, so I want to analyze this thing with a discerning mind. And you know that, uh, for those of you that know me, know I do these things. Uh, so first of all, what I done was I took this picture that was from afar and I blowed it up. Okay? So we can see this cat right here that's supposed to be part of these anarchists that infiltrated the White House today. And uh, this guy's got white paint all over his face. He's got red lipstick on. He's got a shady character looking outfit on. I don't know what this black thing is on top of his head. It looks like a piece of, it's something that's shiny, man. This, this guy's dressed up like a Joker-like figure, like an anarchist figure, you know, guys. And he had to show up that way. So let me ask you something. You know, uh, I mean, you mean to tell me that security at the White House on a day that they knew that there was going to be protest, that there was a group of these people showed up, and they actually looked this way, <clears throat> okay? And so it looked obvious, man, that they were radical. They, they couldn't have put this on after they got in there. They didn't have time, man. They showed up looking like this. So these people were able to actually show up, infiltrate the outer edge of the security, infiltrate midland mid uh, security, infiltrate inside security, and then after they did that, they were actually able to come in here for this guy right here to actually sit in the seat, if if I'm not mistaken, now I'd have to look at the I'd have to look the whole thing over again. He's either in the the seat of the majority leader of the House of Representatives, or he's in the head seat of the Senate. Which, if I'm not mistaken, that would be the presider of the vice president that presides over the Senate. I could be wrong about that. I don't think so, though. I don't get into this stuff, people, this left-right paradigm, okay? It's all a bunch of crap is what it is. And uh, uh, it, they're, all, they're all in this crap together, guys. Now, let me ask you something. With this in mind, man, you've either got one or two things that's went on here. With a discerning mind, let's think on this. One or two things has either happened here. This is either an internal thing, all for show, and Biden and Trump is in on this thing together, which that's what I think. There's no such thing, people, as the right-left right, right, paradigm. You people know that I don't believe in it. What did Lenin say, guys, when he led the uh, Bolshevik Revolution? What did he say? He said the best way to take control of a country is what? To lead the opposition, didn't he? Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, uh, you know, th they, either that has happened, and it's, this is all for show, and your country's been infiltrated, or if you don't believe that, there's only one other possibility, guys. Now, think about what I'm saying. There's only one other possibility. That your security is so loose in this country that a coup could take place at any time. They're either in on it together, okay? And this is all show for the media. Or it's so lucid that anybody could seize control of the throne right now or <laughs> the chair or whatever you want to call it. I mean, the Queen of England's running this place, people. It, it ain't these people right here. This is all show for the sheep, people, okay? But I mean, uh, uh, it has to be one of the two. They're either in on it, and this is all a show for the media, or it's so lucid anybody can seize control of power of this country. One of the two. It can't be anything else, guys. That's the only two possibilities you got. 
So in other words, Lenin and Trotsky, they had a rough time with the Bolshevik Revolution, you know. They, it was really bloody, guys. It was a big, big knockdown, drag out fight. And in the end, the czars got beheaded, you know, and the Bolshevik Revolution took place, and it scared all the aristocracy to death in, throughout the world. And so, uh, if this was done that easy, <laughs> I mean, this would be an invitation for any old Joe to seize control. This would be this would be an invitation for somebody with a party of twenty people to seize control. If you people believe that the Arab Arabic state is truly the enemy of uh, uh, of America, why this right here sends a message that they could just walk right in and take over with box cutters, people. This right here's sickening, man. It makes me sick. And you people believe this, don't you? Look at this guy, man. It looks like some uh, some character from a uh, uh, from some anarchy movie from from a. Uh, uh, the movie there, the Batman, that uh, had uh, like a that Bang figure or whatever, somebody that would be following him around, or somebody would be following the Joker around. I mean, this is ridiculous. You mean to tell me this person showed up looking like this, with a group of people that looked like a bunch of radicals like he did, and they managed to make it inside and completely infiltrate the inside of the White House and take control of this like this, make it all the way to the seat of the majority leader for the House of Representative guys, or the vice president for the Senate. I don't know which seat that is, but it's the main seat. And actually raised his fist up. We got it going on, man. Guys, this is so sickening, man. And you people believe this, don't you? I mean, history repeats itself over and over again. Sad thing about it is, it's the same people doing it, guys. Same people did it in Germany. Same people did it in Turkey. Same people did it in Russia. They're doing it here. It, it happened in uh, uh, England when the uh, ancient Viking king Canute seized control of the uh, the throne from the Merovingian kings. Yeah. Which uh, you people don't know the story of that. But that's what happened. Uh, but this is just sickening, man. And, and people are sitting around believing this. It's sickening. Well, anyway, I'm closing this out for the day. I just thought I'd give my two cents on it, but this is just ridiculous, man. I mean, that you people would actually believe this crap. One of the two things, guys. Either they're in on it together, or your country's so loose any old Joe can seize control. Why, if it's this easy to do this, guys, I, if I was a gang in Washington, D.C., I'd say, well, boys, we just go ahead and control everything right here. Let's just go on in and move in. I mean... You know, if 20 people can do this as dressed up like the Joker, why, hell, we can just get in there and take control of everything right now. It's sickening, man. You and me both know that there's no way that this, this, this bunch here could have done that unless they were let in there for the cameras. It's the only way. It's sickening. It's, it, it's pathetic. I'm so sick of these lies, man. See you guys tomorrow or whenever.